Um, next, I'm going to grab a cylinder. And I'm just going to put this right below my chair, like right in the center here. Just kind of play with that and drop it down so it is not sticking through my cushion. And it's a bit on the long side, so let's just go something like that. Um, I'm going to go with six rotation segments. So I can always get it back with subdivide, but I probably need to have the chair back to the back just a little bit. Cool. So let's make it editable. Let's take a look at the bottom here, and let's go ahead and grab these, and we'll go to our matrix extrude, and we just want to do one segment. Oops, one segment, um, and then. We'll have to play with these move coordinates. Right now, it's just gonna drop it down 50 centimeters. Um, I'm gonna probably reduce that. Um, but I also need to move it out. And I also want it, because it's naturally rotated, so I need to move this X as well until I get it. somewhere around there. Um, and then I can always bring it back using my Y, which is, which is here. So, here we go. Now we're kind of aligned with our extrusion there. Just gonna maybe play with my scale a little bit on the ends there, um, and I've got this little rotate angle. I'm gonna get rid of that so that my bottoms are flat or flush. So if we back up, um, that's kind of like what you'd see on the bottom of a uh, chair. So if you want to kind of copy these settings I've used with the move and scaling. Um, you can accomplish this look and then we will um, just go ahead and I'm just going to extrude down. Like I said, I'm, I'm keeping it pretty simple here. Um, so if you want to just be done there, you could, but we're going to add some wheels to this. Um, but I am done with the cylinder. So what I can do now is hold down Alt and subdivide. And that's when you might see the need to kind of go back in and um, potentially adjust some things if it doesn't look right. Um, I'm not going to mess with that. I think it looks fine. Um, maybe, but, but maybe what the only other thing you might want to do is just do two steps on that extrusion matrix. Um, so let's go back to our matrix extrude and I'll add a second step so that just creates more segments and that's going to make it look better when we subdivide just a little bit better not a ton better and then we will pull these down yeah, that makes it look a little bit better. There's this huge kind of webbing look in between. All right. Um, so to make wheels, it's pretty basic. Just use a cylinder. Let's rotate it and let's bring it down here. So we got, um, it's pretty big. So we're gonna scale it down. Let's bring it over to our chair for scale and just kind of see like if we put this up below one of these legs. Yeah, that's a decent size. So we're gonna hold down Alt and do a uh, cloner and we'll do radial and we have to change it to the XZ. This is where we'll, we'll jump into the top view and we'll just kind of line this up. I need to adjust my, uh, my count up one and my Offset is almost there, and I'm just gonna adjust my radius, making 
make sure that my center point is right in the middle of my chair base there. And we will bring this out. Let's see how we look from here. Okay. Maybe bring it down just a little bit. No? No, that's pretty pretty good. So now what we can do is let's just offset this to the one side a little bit and let's duplicate this. And then on this one, we will change the offset back the other way. So you've got that those two wheels together there at each location. Um, and then we can just create a new material since they look super weird, all white like that. We will put a nice black there. And then we'll throw a black as well on the seat. And then we might just, for the base, create a really reflective uh, backman here. And we'll just toss that on our metal cylinder. So we've got an office chair. Um, I don't know. You know, I'll scale that a little bit. I don't know that there's much difference between this and a typical. I don't know. I don't know that there's much more that needs to be added to this. How detailed do you want to go? I mean, it, let's be honest. It's a, it's a freaking office chair. Uh, but that's pretty darn close to a finished office chair. The only other thing we can add now is um, some arm rails if you think that that's necessary. So fine, we'll just pretend like you think it's necessary. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put a cube into place here and I am going to uh, subdivide and also, I'm going to put on symmetry, um, which, where'd you go? Okay, we're back. So it took me a second. For some reason, my symmetry was being finicky, but I've now got my cube in a symmetry. Um, and I don't know why it's not being perfect. As you can see, I've got this gap. Um, Maybe that's my chair. Let's take a look from the top view. It appears that symmetry needs to be centered. The location should be zeroed out. There we go. Now let's drag this out and we should get perfect symmetry. So make sure you do that. If you ever grab your symmetry and move it around and it doesn't line up with things perfectly, just make sure you zero out these coordinates and move the cubes around. So I was a ding dong, I was doing that. All right, editable. Let's grab these. Let's make some, some nice rails here. something and then a lot of times we would just add um, a little bit of extrusion up top here just to kind of simulate I just grab these two sides and we'll just scale them out a little bit be metal but then I want 
or the armrest would be to kind of have my my black material. And I might actually have to uh, All right, so what do you guys think? Don't you just wanna go back to work? All right, there we go. So if you need to make an office chair, it's not that hard. Just uh, follow along using some subdivision service cloners um, and you can have this simple office chair done in no time at all. But just wanted to show you a quick tutorial for looking for inspiration on how to 3D model. Uh, we post a lot of videos like this, so definitely appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more.